Hi, everyone. It's Plastic EP here in Melbourne, and it's freezing cold. And what is it? It's 9.20 now at the moment. I was wearing my jacket before, and I have my favourite friend, Mr. Puppet, Hello. Bob Abdu. And today we're going to be talking banana splits. How are you today, Bob? Fine, just fine. I'm up for my – thanks for waking me up for my beauty nap. Hey, Bob, i got to tell you, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. I'm always Thank surprised you. with what you've got. Your world-class banana splits collection. I've waited. Oh, I, I couldn't sleep all night. Really? What, do, I, do I owe you money? No, I couldn't sleep all night just waiting for to see what you got with the banana splits. Oh, well, there you go. There's Flegel with the tag. It's unbelievable. What year did he come out? Uh, this is probably – oh, wait, wait, it's got a date on it. 68? 70. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I think – I don't know for sure, but, you know, I, I live in Ohio, and, you know, this Kings Island – is here in Ohio, and I think these might have been, might have been, unless one of your readers or listeners can correct me, these might have been carnival wind toys. Right. Can you tell me in 68, when the show came out, did you start collecting then? No, no. I started collecting 20 years ago. Okay. That's, imagine if you bought everything up in 68. Oh, How my goodness. you would have saved well, you know, the Holy Grail is one of the most Holy Grail of toys is the uh, Banana Splits telephone. Is it? Oh, yeah. The last one I saw went for $4,000. Is that that little blue thing behind you? Yep. There you go. I recognized it. But this is a broken one. Okay. If I find a good one. I, I, you know what? I would rather have a broken toy than no toy at all. I'm not one of those collectors that has to have everything mint. But I found okay. a broken banana splits. Yeah, but Bob, if I find the brand one new, if I find one brand new in the box, at least I can tell you and trade it for some monkey stuff. There you go. But they, uh, we'll talk about the David Cassidy Halloween costume. Don't worry, we're not getting into that. Can we just keep that secret? Can, yeah, edit, we'll have to edit that. No, no, don't worry. We're going live. I'm not eating anything. Okay. I love it. Everybody's watching us and they're all wide awake. <laughs> Well, I'm half asleep. You know, one of the interesting things about the banana splits is that they also did th a lot of things they did in from Canada. Here's, I'll show you some more banana splits from Canada, but here's some uh, patches. That's all in Canadian. It's great. When did that come out? Uh, take a guess. I reckon 20 years ago when you started collecting. No, this no, this is old. All this stuff is old. I don't. 68. 71. Okay, 71. But the show came out in 68. Yeah, but it stayed on for a while. Okay, I understand. Take, a guess, how much, take a guess how much this cost. Uh, $100. I'll, I'll, show you the price, I'll show you the price tag. $100. Oh, you mean the original price? The original price from 1971. 50 cents. 50 cents. Let's see if I can how do much? it. How much? A dollar. Okay. I was close. $1. You know, I've got a special background, Bob. I picked this background just for you. Let's see. Oh, you like oh yours? <laughs> no, my mother's. Yes. Of course, you're Bob. not high, are you? No. Okay, it's all right. Easy. I love it. My mom is now. I do have to tell you that I don't collect a lot of new toys because they're too common, and I they really hold, hold no value. So I have a few new toys, but I don't like collecting new toys because it's just never ending. I'd rather I'm more into the vintage stuff. I so bought, even though I got the bobbleheads. Yeah, even though it's new. It's still unique, but this is about as far as I'll go. I that's good. I don't, I don't want to collect the new uh, the new stuff. Hey Bob, can I push the friendship a bit here? Can I push the friendship a little bit? Sure. Do I? Do you want to borrow money from me or what? No, you know that banana splits game behind you. Is it's too much yeah. trouble if you show us and actually open it? Oh, I will. Oh, I will. I'm going to show you almost. I'm going to show you a lot of stuff. Thank on you. It. I'd like to see inside the game because I'll never get to see it all my life. Okay. Now, here's something that's really rare that I own. This is from. What do you call the the countries like Sweden and Denmark and all that area? What is that? You're more your Scandinavian countries. Uh, this is from the Scandinavian countries. 
This is a vacuum form of Drooper. Fantastic. Yeah. They must have made it while they were freezing. <laughs> yeah. But it's in mint condition, and these things usually crack. Oh, yeah. And I've got I've got Flegel, too. Oh, that's unreal. Yeah. Mint condition. You know, this is going straight to the Banana Splits Club after the interview, don't oh, you? I'm good. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's okay with me. I'm all right with that. <laughs> We're both members. Uh, yeah, I'm, just so they know I'm not selling anything. No, but I'll give you the pleasure of you you posting it. I want you to post I, it. I want you to okay, get credit. I will. I will. Want to see, you want to see from a banana split from Mexico? Yes, please. La Cucaracha. These are actual, believe it or not, these are Christmas Christmas ornaments. Right. The banana splits from Mexico. Can you pull one out of the box? I can just see it. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> There's one of Bingo. Oh, fantastic. Now, when I saw these for sale, I thought maybe these were homemade. But believe it or not, well, whether they are homemade or not, I saw other sets of these. So these might have been manufactured. These, I mean, I would say these are bootlegged, but still very cool. But how do you know, Bob, that they weren't actually made in 68 and somebody came across some old stock? You know, there's no, there's no, um, uh, there's no markings on it. Um, they look homemade. But I, but I, every, all, I've seen these for sale three times and they all came from Mexico. Okay. But these are bootlegged, but still very cool. You wouldn't want to put them on the tree and drop them. No, not at all. Not at all. I think one of the hardest collections to have is actually banana splits. I don't think there's too uh, many collectors. Yeah, here's a magic slate. Remember these magic slates? Yeah, of course. You get the Still little plastic the pen. pen in your right. Still got the pen. That's great. That's my... And I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up and let your viewers see some things. Fantastic. So I have a I have a friend of mine who I buy toys from, and uh, he calls me up and he says, um, "I bought a gumball machine for a hundred dollars." I said, "No, nope, okay, it's a vintage gumball machine," and he said that. I said, "Why would I be interested in a gumball machine?" He says, "Not the gumball machine, but what was inside the gumball machine." He found it at an antique store for a hundred dollars. And just as he was leaving, the people at the store said, don't forget your bag of gumballs. And he's thinking that they were just cheap gumballs, but they weren't. They were full of banana splits, original tattoo gum. There must have been at least 300 in the bag. So you got 300 or you got one? No, I got one set. They're very expensive. Make sure you don't eat it. Oh, I'm not eating it. Believe me. There's Flegel. Yeah. There's Bingo. Can I just say something? A Drooper? Go ahead. I'm listening to Drooper. Okay. I had another interview with a Beatle guy, and he said some guy locked himself in, the, in his flat in England or something, and he had nothing to eat and he couldn't open the door, so he ended up eating 50 year old Ringo. <laughs> yeah, Beatle Licorice. Did you I hear that? Yeah, I, I, who told you that? Because I know the same, Simon. You know the, my friend Simon? I don't know who it is. I'm yeah, not that I, well connected. I, I know you. Story. I know you. I, I don't need to know anybody else. There you go. Look, there's, snor yeah, there's snorky gum. So anyway, really expensive and really hard to find. Thank you, Bob. Fantastic. Okay. You don't collect Skippy, do you? No. Okay. So here's something. Here are some rings. Oh, yeah. Banana split rings. There's all four of them. Plastic? No, they're metal. Oh, sorry. They're metal. That's great. The reason why I'm showing you this is because these were on top of the board game. Fantastic.
Banana splits have got to be the hardest thing to collect. There's not much merchandise around. Uh, you know, uh, it's probably uh, it's probably one of maybe 20 hard things to find. All right, I'll show you the board game. I have an Thank open. I have Can I look the front of it, Bob? Yeah. Thank you. My forehead. That's beautiful. Just that artwork's oh fantastic. You mean my forehead? Yeah, of course. <laughs> look at that. I love that, Bob. Can you see? Yep. I haven't opened this thing up in probably 10 years. Thank you so much, Bob. I don't mind opening it up. Thanks again. I might never see another one. Look at that. Oh, that's mint, Bob. Um, it's got some issues on it, but yeah, this side is mint. Yeah, it's got some issues on the back. It's got some dots on it, but it's good. It's the front that matters. Look at that. Can you see it? Yeah. Fantastic. Bob, you're doing a great job there. There's a spinner. Oh, fantastic. Let me see if I've got any of the pieces up. Oh, yeah, and basically that's it. Great. That's all it was. What it sell for? Seven bucks or ten bucks back in the day, you reckon? Dollar ninety-eight. No wonder they didn't put much in there. Yeah, right. <laughs> fantastic. Just to put that on your walls, fantastic. Yeah. Boy, I haven't opened this thing up in a long time. Great thing is it's still there. I'm doing it just for your viewers. I hope they and watch. And myself. And yourself. Only for our friendship. Thank you. Okay. Much appreciated. What's that, a banana split clock there, is it? Which one? Is that a clock on the left-hand side? Banana split clock? Of it, this? No, no, no. Cross more on your left, left, left. The other way, the other way, the other way. A round thing. That, more, more, more. Next one. No, no, down and across. Yeah, well, just where your finger was. No, no. Up. up this? No, go a little bit across more. No, walk in the other way, the other way. This? Three things. That, that, the next one next to it. This? No, the other one next to it. <laughs> this? No, no. <laughs> next. Yes. What's that's that round thing with the blue? No, that's all, no, that's all Batman stuff on that Oh, stuff. sorry. That's all Batman. That's another issue. I thought that was a banana sweets clock. No, that's a Batman. Thanks for doing that, Bob. It looked good. There's a Viewmaster. Oh, great. Banana splits musical toys. Two bananas, is it? It's a banana and a carrot. Okay, great. <laughs> I don't know. There's a carrot in there. <laughs> I thought that was a corn. You know, wait, wait a second. Is it corn? Let's take it out and see. I reckon it's a corn. I'm going to take it out and see. I own it. I can do whatever I want with it. It's so corny. I reckon it's a corn. What do you think? What do your viewers think? Corn? Yeah, or that's a corn. Corn or carrot? I got corn. It's a harmonica. Okay. Take a guess how much it cost. A dollar. Still got the original price on it. A dollar. 99 cents. There you go. I can't get better than that, can I? Does it have a year? No. It was a great show when it came out. I love the I love the show. The problem is I can't watch it today. It's too stupid. Why can't these people put it out on DVD? Still not out on DVD. I don't know. Same well, as the some, Beatles cartoons. Here's something really rare. Right. These are these are banana splits. These are banana splits finger rings. Right. I put them in a case so you can see them. You showed me them. Was it the monkey rings you showed me? No, these are just like the monkey rings, right? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. I'm learning something all the time. I gotta tell you something. I've never seen these before. Fair enough. I've never seen them either. Yeah. 
Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Okay, you suck, Colin. I haven't opened this thing up in years. I hope your viewers appreciate what I'm doing. Of course they would do. If not, if they don't, I do. <laughs> wow, I haven't touched hey, you this know, Bob, We have more fun when we're not filming. <laughs> right, right. There's a bing right. ring. There's a bingo Fantastic. ring. I'll put this away once we're all done. Of course. I don't need to do it now. So let's look at some more banana splits. Thank you. Uh, you've seen the mug? Yep. And this and the cereal bowl. Here's something that I that I um have an incomplete set of. I need snorky. These are actually rub on tattoos from Mexico. I'm missing snorky. I'm missing Snorky. Anybody got Snorky, please contact Mr. Puppet. Right. Yeah, right. We'll give you a dollar for it. Yeah. That's actually how much I paid for them. Yeah, that's right. We're not going more than a dollar. These are from Mexico. Okay. Who leg? I'll show you some of my pride and joys. Actual cereal boxes. These are not... Fantastic. These are not reproductions. Yep. There is the posters. I have the posters in, in another room. See them? She had dollar butcher a lot back then, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Now dollar doesn't buy anything. Well, back in the day, you know, you people made 40 cents an hour. So that's that. Actual. Well, there's some more right there. You can buy the record. I've got the records too. So there's a sugar pops. Yep. Here is sugar smacks. Yeah, these, we call them honey snacks. Yeah, these are this is I don't have the top for it. Again, yep. I don't I'm I don't collect mint things. If it's broken, I'll take it. But on the back is the uh club, and I have the club certificate in another part of the room. That's great, Paul. Look how much it was. 25 cents. 25. That's a quarter, isn't it? That's a quarter. Thank you. And on, on the side, you can get the hand puppets. Oh, even better. I've got the I've got the hand puppets. And one of the most rarest things I own is I own a a bat a banner that people that a that a um store would hang in in a toy store would hang promoting the hand puppets. That's I'll, real. I'll show you that later. There's some more cereal boxes. Do you know we in Australia we call it rice bubbles, not crispies? Rice bubbles? Yep, that's what it's called. Oh, exactly the same. Same character, similar box it was. Yeah. It's called rice bubbles, not rice crispies. I wonder why. Well, I there, don't know. You, there you can get the breakfast set. And there's the breakfast set in the back. Great marketing off the food cereals. Yeah. Here's the last cereal box. Uh, no, I got one more cereal box. Here's Frosted Flakes. Yeah. Now, this is, now again, I don't want to mislead your readers. This is my only, I think, yeah, this is my only reproduction. Okay. I don't want to scam anybody. This is a no, That's all right. At least you tell us what's real and what's not. Yeah, I, I can't don't want tell to the difference. There's, there's a records. Right. This is a real box. Guess how Can much I tell you what we call that in Australia? Sugar Frosties. That's what we call it. The same thing. Sugar Frosties when it came out. Yeah. And here you can get the dune buggy. Okay. There's the buggy in the back. Now I'll show you the dune buggy. I don't have a complete... I don't want to complete it, but there's the dune buggy. I've got the wheels over there, and I got the instructions with it. 
There's the doom buggy. It's great. You see? Yep. But somebody actually painted these. They did a great job, huh? I think so. But they painted for you. You don't have to worry about the paint. Yeah. Right, and it's great. Yeah, it's really good. All right. Um, let's see what else I got. Oh, you've seen the lunchbox. I'll have a look. I've got the thermos too. Oh, fantastic. I appreciate you taking everything off the shelves today for us. That's all right. Well, uh, you're welcome. You're a good friend, Plastic EP. That's you know what I suggest when you take it down, Bob? Dust the shelves down because you won't be taking them off for another oh, yeah. 20 years. Yeah, believe it or not, there's no dust where I am. So everything okay. is here. Okay. But it's the same thing on there's you want to see the sides. There's there's Drooper. Yep. There's Flegel. Thank you. Oh, look at that. There's Drooper and Flegel. That's it. That's oh, great. Take a guess what year? What year? 68. 69. Okay. It says right there, 19. You see 69? Yep. Fantastic. 69. And I got the thermos over there. Now, I don't know if you can see over here, but there's actually banana splits uh, bed sheets. Yeah. Like curtains. Very rare. Fantastic. You drop one behind there. Yeah. As a backdrop. As a backdrop, right. That's right. A banana splits fabric. I've never seen it before. Okay, I'm going to move some things. Yep. You're looking at my <laughs> forehead. Don't worry. We're seeing your collection. It's all right. Okay. All right. Don't go hiding under the desk. Okay. Let me see. Uh, okay. I'm going to move my computer so you can see. You're right. All right. So here is a banana splits puzzle. The slide puzzle. Can you yep. see that? Yep. I don't know how to angle this. There you go. There's That's a slide puzzle. Say, perfect. There's a bingo in the bag. Yep. And here are some rubber banana splits in like Christmas card boxes. This is actually how they sold them. And here are the, the Sutton and other plastic banana splits there. Great. You see, you see them all? Yeah, it's coming in perfect. And then below it are the other banana splits. Yeah, I love the original stuff. Yeah, that's what it is. All original stuff. I've got to see the thermos. Well, there's the thermos here. Since you're there, I've got to have a look. Look at that. There's the thermos. You know, that's made my day, Bob. Really? Well, good. I'm glad. Because you're starting out. Your, your day's starting out now with me. Yeah, I know. I think my day's going to end with you, too. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, Saturday, it's Sunday here today. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. Well, here's a light. Here's a. This is a kind of common, but this is my Batman over here. We'll do that another day. Yeah, of course. Let's see if I can. Where's my finger out there? Where is there? There's a light switch. This is Banana Splits light switch. I like that. You see that? Yeah, it's great. Trying to angle it, so I can't really tell with the laptop. That's no, perfect, right there. Spot on, right there. Okay, and then below it is some is banana splits film I found at a thrift store. Really? And, yeah, and then down here, this is actually a, a an ottoman. You know what an ottoman is? Yeah, yeah, you sit on it. Yeah, you sit on. There's a banana splits ottoman. Very Never rare. Never that in my life. Yeah, and then over here, let me move this out of the way. And then over here, these are all, that's actually handmade. Somebody made this for me. Isn't that that's cool? fantastic. Oh, we did a great job. Fantastic. You got the connections when it comes to puppets yeah. and toys. Yeah. yeah. There's all my banana splits. There's, I don't have a bingo. I have a okay. eagle, a, a lot of fleagles. I've got a um, drooper and snorky down here. But I don't have a bingo. 
Okay. And I'll show you something that's very rare that's almost on my wish list. These are pajama bags. This is these are very rare. There's a drooper banana uh, pajama bag and with the tag on it. Can you see the tag? Yeah. So kids used to go to their friends and put their pajamas in it and take it right. with them. Right. And there's a there's a flegal pajama bag. Never seen that, Bob. Yeah. I actually had the advertisement from the from a toy company with all four of them. But I've never been able to see the other two. Fantastic. And let's see, over here is over here. Let's see if I can do it. I'm trying to angle it. Yeah, I see the mask up there. Yeah, yeah that's only they only made bingo. Yeah, fair income. They He's only made bingo. I don't know. Yeah, he was my. I maybe he was the more popular one, but they only made bingo. Now I'm gonna get and show you. Here's a here's a snorky bib. Yep. I'm just, I'm just gonna scan all these. But can you see these banana splits toys? Yeah, see, perfect. Just a bit up. That's it. Okay. Yep, perfect, perfect. Bob. These are all banana splits toys. Yep. Um, hold on a second. I gotta move all this. Hold on a second. That's no, fine. These are all banana splits toys right over here. Yep. Because these. Banana, these are all banana splits toys. Oh, so now here's my, uh, my my most pride and joy. I told you here's the store banner. This is the store banner. This is really rare. Look at that. Oh, like that's an, really rare with the Kellogg's advert underneath. Yeah, there it is. Free banana splits hand puppet. And it's a banner. It goes all the way across. Goes all the way across. And it's got it's got each one of them. Either Snorky. Oh, yeah. And then on the other side, there's Bingo. Gotcha. And on the so other it's little plastic pieces hung by string. What's that? It's No, it's all, it's a vinyl rope. Okay, got it. That's how they hung it up. And there's more Bingo. So those are, those are my, that's my pride and joy. You're kind of looking at my Batman stuff too, but. No, it's okay, we're ignoring Batman. It's full. Yeah. And now here's another thing that's really rare. Here's a here's a bingo punching bag. Oh yeah. Like a bot bag. I saw them advertise all the bags. Yeah, there's a bingo one. It doesn't hold air. Doesn't matter. That's rare as. I don't I don't care if it doesn't hold air or not, but that's my bingo punching bag. And so and then they, they also now there are and I don't have everything. There are a couple of toys that I that um that I can't afford because like I said, banana splits are very expensive. There are other toys of banana splits, but one day maybe. But here's a stand-up rub-ons. Oh, can you see? Yep. That? And then here's some more rings. Here's some more rare rings. Can you see that? Here we yep. go. Bob, you got a world-class collection. There's no question of that. Well, thank you, Plastic EP. I appreciate that. I worked hard collecting all this. Well, you can't find it now. Yeah. So this is it. And there's and here's some more. I mean, there's some other stuff. Here's um a, a notepad, a banana splits notepad. That's great. Any plastic guitars? I've never seen a plastic guitar. Does it exist or am I making uh, it up? Well, hold on a second. When you say plastic guitar, let's see. Um you, uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me see if they have a guitar here. I mean, they have instruments like this. Sure. I mean, they're just little, little, little baby things, but not, not something a, 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 a you know, a, a ten-year-old would play with. Sure. Not like a Beatle guitar or a Pat no, Beatle no, guitar. Yeah, no. You see that? Yep. I collect those too. They're all over here. Like they made a lot. Remember, we saw the uh, the uh, corn. No, what was it? A uh, um, Corn harmonica. There's another harmonica. All these musical musical instruments. You know, well, here's a tambourine. I have all them hanging here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see itself over here. I got to be careful not to step on anything. Oh yeah, here, here's the banana splits uh, stick-ons. Here's a banana splits balloon. I'll take this yeah. out so your viewers can see. Here's a banana, banana splits balloon still in the bag. 
Look how much it costs. 20 cents. 29 cents. Okay. What year do you think this is? 68. Let's find out. 69. Okay. It makes sense that they put the merchandise one year after the show's running. Did it? So that's all, that's all my banana splits. I moved a lot of stuff so you can see it, but... i got to say, Bob, it's just fantastic. Totally fantastic. You should be so proud. Well, thank you so much. Well, and you know, I want to thank you for this opportunity to let me let me show you this stuff because two things: a lot of people have never seen this stuff before, and uh, you know, my stuff is for people to see and enjoy and and to think about their childhood. And Banana Splits was one of those fun shows to watch, you know, when we were younger. Bob, living here in Australia, I can tell you now, I've never seen a Bob Banana Splits collection. All right, I've never seen any of those things that you see me. Really? That you've shown us, sorry. The only thing I've seen is in books, like magazines or things from the States where they had a, a comic book and they say, do you want to buy the punching bags of these cartoon characters? Wow. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you mean, would they, have, would they have sold in Australia? Would you have seen a lunchbox? No. You So no. as a child in Australia, you couldn't get this? I don't think so. Bob, you got to understand something. Out here, even if it came out, it would have been of so low qual quantities that you wouldn't know. Do you right. know, even monkey stuff, merchandising was hard to get. The main thing was like corgi cars, they came right. out, the monkey mobile, Batmobile, those things sold in quantities here. But all this other stuff, you basically got comics. We got right. the Banana Blitz comics. I'd say they came for sure, no, no problem without a doubt. But other merchandise growing up, very rare. To get what you guys got in the states. Interesting. Well, any other questions? Are we good? No, I want you to say a big hello to everybody out there, and I want to tell you that is a world class banana splits collection. And from Plastic EP, I can't thank you enough, Bob. And I love talking to you. Well, everybody, go, really Mr. Puppet. Tell them your website Puppet, and everything again where they can find you. Mr. Tell Puppet, me where they can find you on the net now. Mr. Puppet. Uh, dot com or a Mr. Puppet fan page on Facebook. Hey, you know what? I ate dinner before our interview. Now it's time for dessert. You know what I'm going to have? Banana split. <laughs> hey, listen, i got to say, for everybody out there, for Bob Shane's collection, I want you to go to Mr. Puppet and I want you all to press like. It's not hard. Please, yeah, please you know like. What? It helps a lot. Okay, Absolutely. it does. Anyway, Bob... Ooh. From Plastic EP here in Australia and from Mr. Puppet out there in Ohio. Don't give him your address. I won't. <laughs> I'll give him it's your been, address. It's been a gas. I'll give him your address. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See ya. And have fun. Peace and love. Same to you. Bye. Bye-bye.